Okay, so welcome back to Dark Souls. Um, this is going to be episode 4, and we're going to be continuing with the Undead Powers. We've finally got on there after the last episode where I died far too many times. It was it was ridiculous. I'm hoping, hoping that's not going to happen again. So yeah, there's going to be a fair bit of grinding and getting souls. So I want to buy a few things. Um, probably the most noticeable one is going to be the Crest of Artorias to get... Um, it's Dark Root Garden, I believe it's called. And yeah, beat the boss there, get a few other cool items. Should be good times, you know? Alright, come on. Ah, oh, these repasts, like, what is going on? There we go. Happy days. This is a semi decent area to farm up. Um, so there's quite a few enemies. I mean, to get 20,000 stalls, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. But, oh shit, I forgot there's this guy here. So I'll lead them, lead them out. And also, right ahead of me, there's a shortcut back to the Firelink Shrine, which is also very good. I don't think this guy can be backstabbed. We've just got to chunk him down. It's not so bad because he's just so bloody big. Dodge that way too big. Stop dancing. Ah! Took my weapon off. Should probably heal that. I'm sure this guy can heal actually. Right, come on. Right, come on, off you go. He doesn't respawn, I think he has ah, nearly a thousand souls. Hey, a tight night shard. So, you know, getting there, getting up to that 20,000. And this is another Firekeeper Soul. That's always handy. But that guy, that guy is an asshole. So we're going to take him out. He doesn't respawn if you kill him, thankfully. And this guy will try and parry you all day long. Right, can you stop that? It's a real pain fighting him on the stairs. This part could be an absolute nightmare because that mage guy will buff these guys. They they haven't been buffed, but wow, really? Thankfully, they haven't been buffed. But oh, there we go. He's starting to buff them. They will deal a hell of a lot more damage. What are you doing? I've just been a definition of an asshole. I swear he's not usually this much of a twat. A hit off one of these guys could well kill me, so I need to be careful. Oh. Broken straight sword. That's all of them. Oh, you buffed yourself as well. Oh shit. Can I parry that? I don't know, I don't really want to try if he's buffed. <sighs> Range on that, man. That's not fair, you can fucking fly. Right. Thank God for that. God, he was right pain in the ass. You know what, fuck it, I'm just going to go back, res reset the bonfire. Um, I think I'll um, also get 10 Estus Flask. Because what you can do at the bonfire is, once you've reversed Halloween, go into human form, you can kindle the bonfire. And you can kindle it up to, uh, well, kindling the bonfire will give you 5 extra um, Estus Flasks. Uh, you can get a maximum of 20. 
so you've got to do it for every bonfire though so if I kindle this one it will only be this bonfire that will give me 10 essence flasks you can kindle them up to 20 but um, you need an item that we'll get a bit later on in the game so yeah I need to consume another humanity first so how many have I got? I've got 7 yeah don't really, they're not really something you'll run out of. So reverse hollowing. I think that'll increase my HP. I'm not too sure. Or is that just in 2 and 3? No, oh, okay. No humanity boost. It does also mean I can get invaded. Which is annoying. Particularly as I'm playing on PC. And this, you know, this is notorious for people hacking. But we shall cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully I just don't get invaded. But also it's quite handy that I'm in human form, so that means I can just get summons for the boss. Again, you don't really need them, but where I've been playing, yeah, I might I might just go for it. Especially because I don't really want to lose my souls either. Because like I said, I'm saving up. So yeah. In fact, I think I'll just go straight for the boss. Now that I'm in human form, just to sort of guarantee those souls. Wow, that was way too early. Getting some nice damage already on my Uchi Katana. And I should probably unlock this shortcut. Oh no! Let me off. Oh, well, this means I can go go grab a couple of items. As if you. Oh, it's coming. Oh shit! I can't believe I survived that. I didn't realise the drop started so high up. That was nearly completely retarded of me. Yeah, so I can just grab some items. I believe we could just roll off here. Yeah. Don't have to jump for that one. How do I get to that? I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay. That doesn't matter. I think actually I might be remembering this wrong. Oh, okay, no. I thought I was gonna say that. Oh, I don't think I spoke to Petrus. I was gonna say though that I think you have to be um, in human form to see messages, but I'm not too sure about that. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance if possible. Cool. Hello there. There as well. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. No, go ahead. It's for you. This guy's actually a massive dickhead. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Sure. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Yeah, I may as well. I was thinking that I probably won't get healed, but I might no, do it. Let might me do share it, my oh. oh, sorry. I'll cut you off there. So, yeah. Sweaty cells. He's got a talisman as well, but I've already got one. Um, the gesture. Awesome. There we go. Right then. Back to uh, the undead patch. Ah, oh, this is how I get the item. Of course. So, the lost and dead gear belt will come in handy. 
need all the souls we can get at the moment. And all the weight loss. I'm not appreciating this slow roll, it just feels ridiculous, especially after coming back from Dark Souls 3 where everything's a lot smoother. Well, again, I don't like to say smoother, but it's just, you know, just flows nicer, it seems a bit faster and everything. Yeah, it's, it's not, not ideal, but we'll get there. Thank you. Oh, good man. Is that a one hit request? Yes, it is. Nice one, buddy. I appreciate that. Right, come on. Come on. Best way to kill these guys is just sort of let them funnel through. And yeah, just. Ubuntu is good for this. It's just got a nice straightforward lunge, uh, sort of attack. Oh. Sorry, I didn't realise you were going to do that. There we go. Dealt with nice and nice and easily. So I just sort of funnel them through, pick them off one by one. So now we've got a couple of items in here. Or just the one, I think. Yeah, again, helpful, thank you. So for this boss, you can get two summons. I think I'll just go for Solaire. I think to get the other guy or track you might have to uh, sort of reload the area after oh shit. Yeah, my bad. See when he does that he's trying to power you, so do not attack him. Thank you. Probably would have been quick if just backstab him, but I don't know, I need to practice. Parrying is very important and it makes your life a lot easier in this game. So go over here to get, I think it's humanity off this guy. I say guy, he's not alive. He's just chilling in a barrel. Because why the hell not? Oh, maybe the mystery key that I got in the previous episode opens doors to here. Or it might be the master key will open up. Ooh. Still human, are you? I am. Then I am in love. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Ah, there we go. This guy's quite shady, but I don't know, I like him. He's I just find him he's quite interesting. Thank you. Yes. So onwards to the boss. This should be fun. I mean, I tend to um, just go all in on this boss. Gold pine resin summons. Get them out of the way. This boss was actually also the uh, very first boss I played in Dark Souls. Is I think not long after it had been released on PlayStation, my friend had it. And this was before I got into Dark Souls. I think it was a couple of years later that I eventually got into Dark Souls. But I just jumped in, fought this boss, and I was like, what the fuck? This is ridiculous. This game looks cool, but it's hard, man. And then a few years later, I ended up falling in love with it. I gave it a proper go. And yeah, I'm playing it now for about four years. Well, I say I've had the game for about four years. I haven't been playing it all that much. So as you can see, my skill is somewhat questionable for somebody who's been playing for four years. I'll try and go 
material for the weapon. If you cut this guy's tail off, you can get a weapon. I won't be using it, but I just like to collect things in this game, get as many items as I can anyway. I don't really do challenge runs, but that's my challenge. Just get as much shit done as I can. I'm not locking on things because it's easier to cut his tail off if you don't. Wow, what is going on? Oh shit. And now we've got another gargoyle. I'll focus on this one. Oh, so that's dead. That sucks. I'm just gonna die apparently. Shit. No! Oh my god. Ah, how did that happen? Right, I'm not gonna summon Solaire. And I'm not gonna go for the tail axe. Screw it. I don't need it. Let's have some of my squash. Get me ready for this fight. I'm starting to get worried about losing my souls, which is not a good thing. As if you do that, you're probably gonna die. If you get stressed about it, you'll die. Play worse, and yeah. Grab you, seeing as I need the souls. Nice one, Bert. There's also a part out the front of the church I haven't gone to yet. There's a couple of items that I'll need to grab. I think one of them is a weapon, I can't remember which one. Oh. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. Again, I appreciate it, you're being too kind. Again, may as well grab these guys, just... Why did I do that? That's what I wanted to do. Oh my god, that is not what I wanted to do. Right, let's just hold that for a sec. Oh, no! <laughs> just heal, goddammit, there we go. broken straight swords which is no use to anyone. Oh my life. I need to stop rushing, I'm making really sloppy mistakes. I won't be able to summon Solaire this time because um, I'm not in human form, but that's fine. I'm not too bothered. Doesn't really give me much of a bonus anyway, except that I can summon but if you summon... Oh, what? I can see a health bar through the wall. Okay. Yeah, if you summon it does make the bosses... I think they give higher damage and they also um, have more HP. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, buddy. Oh my god, it's 
stop fucking flying around. Okay, maybe I'll be I underestimated how useful gold point resonance in this fight. the goggles here. That's not good, right? Ow. Oh, man. Whoa. I need to sort my shit out. <laughs> Why am I struggling so much? Oh my life. Right, okay. Gold pine resin and solar. I'm getting mad now. I'm getting mad. So what we're gonna do? Oh yeah. I got two firekeeper souls. I haven't reinforced my SS flask. Okay, we'll do that first. Actually no we won't. I can't be asked. Oh no, I can do it on the way, that's fine. So... Uh, whack on some gold pine resins. Nope, that's not a gold pine resin. That is a gold pine resin. Um, I need to use some humanities. Or just the one. Holy shit, run. Fuck that. Oh my god. Whew. <laughs> can they climb? Yes, they can. These guys for real. Another 
that last of you? Yeah, it seems to be the last of you, right? Come on, so that. Third time is the lucky one, supposedly. Come on, Captain Solaire. Come on. Ooh! I gotta watch my ship. Okay, we got this, Solaire. We have got this. Where's my souls? Get your hands off of there. Yeah. I'm just gonna fuck you up before you even get to you. See, this is how it usually goes down. Oh, come on. I'm sure I press circle. I know I press circle. But fuck it, that went much better. Thank you, Solaire. Thank you kindly. And now we also get the first bell tower. So this is good times. This is good times. And we also meet an NPC called Oswald the Pardoner, I believe. Okay, he's not here. I think he's there on the way down. And so thankfully that takes a lot of the grinding out of the way. I should be able to get enough souls for the quest for Artorias in just just a couple of runs around the undead berg. But yeah, here's the first battle of awakening. Nicely nice. And cue the cutscene. Awesome. So yeah, I think it's Oswald of Kareem or Oswald the Partner, or maybe he's referred to as both. <laughs> he's gonna be down here. I'm pretty sure he is. Let's see. Yes, epic stance. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the part. Hello, our friend. But the all welcome. Thank you, sir. Cometh now to confess. But your king is present. Or indeed your sin is my dominion. What have you got? Purging stone, that is very useful. I will not be buying any at the moment though. No. That's yeah, if you get cursed, it will cure it. Cursed is horrible, kills you instantly, and you're stuck with half health. So there's a miracle, talisman. Expensive, but they are expensive. You're not welcome any time. Thank you. Oh wow, another one followed me up. Bloody hell. But like, why did you not get the road and just go home? Like, what is your problem? Thank you. <laughs> right then, let's go and fight some people. Yeah. Honestly, I swear in this game, like, the enemies are harder than most of the bosses. I know I just died twice to the fucking gargoyles, but... There we go. Such is life. Fucking hell, there's so many of these guys. I swear, the mobs in this game are harder than... Oh my god, like, what is going on? Why have they not gone back to where they came from? Did, like, just... Okay. Okay. I don't want to go hollow. I mean, look at that shit. Just look at them. Quite a bit more. No. 
put a wire on that. So that real quick. Looks alright. I may as well stick to the other wire, uh, hard leather on that. <laughs> Gives me the same roll. I tend to um, stick to light armor sets once I pick a few of them up. I just prefer them. Oh my life. I thought I'd locked on. Apparently I hadn't. There we go. And there's three more in the room. Right, well, one of the rooms next door. I say next door. What I actually mean is downstairs. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh my life. This game can be quite frustrating because a lot of the times I'm getting hit, it's just I, I do things and as I press the buttons I'm like, I'm going to get hit. I know I shouldn't be doing them. And this game will punish you for doing things wrong. And it's, But it's good in that it's fair because you know you're doing it wrong. It's not like games being cheap or anything. You're just being a bit stupid. Which I like that. It keeps you on your toes. Well should do, it's not doing it for me. Ah, oh, that's not what I want. Come on, come over here, bud. Don't want to aggro your, your little brother. There's a seat in the way, mate. Really? You're gonna fucking chug in my face? How, like... Seriously, bro. them. There's no bloody seats in the way. Right, I can't repost that. I thought the chair was going to get in the way then. It's going to be mad. Okay, so there's a few dudes over here to kill. And I believe there's an item over there, yeah. I don't think it's anything spectacular. But we'll grab it. I'm pretty sure it's a weapon. Halberd. It's not a weapon I've... I don't think I've ever used it, actually. Alright, come on. So earlier on, this goes to where that's um, really, really annoying um, boar thing is. You can, if you're quick enough, the very first time you get to this area, you can just run through. Um, but this guy here, he will close the gate on you and then it's stuck shut but now we can just open it as normal but yeah you can avoid going the way, like, the way around so let's see those steps that I went through you can avoid doing that but I don't know I didn't really bother going for it you've got to be pretty fast okay. right back steps oh you heard me fair enough Stop spamming the fucking shield block. Honestly, I wasn't expecting him to attack me then. Right. Yeah, I got lucky then. I thought that would break his guard. Thank you. Bad thing about the Uchi Katana is because it's quite long, it's just annoying in confined spaces. There we go. And there's one more uh, Baldanite as well as a little sort of hollow warrior on the right with a little spear. Grab him. Come on. Stop fucking about. I've got time. I do not got time for your shit. So yeah, I have to do a couple more runs to get the crest for us, sorry, yes, but that's cool. That's cool, you know? Oh yeah, just run up and backstab him. Trick with this guy is the moment he starts turning, bam, just press RB and down he goes. Oh. Right then, back to the bonfire. I think we'll cut it then, finish getting the rest of the souls in the next episode because dying on the boss took, took, well it made it, this made it, ah, oh, I can't even speak anymore, <laughs> it, yeah, I was planning on just get, grabbing the souls in this episode, doing the boss, but, yeah, 
let's wait it a bit longer due to my incompetence. I'll just grab this guy as well. Come on, give me a song. So we're each going to fire an arrow from the crossbow bolt. It's not going to work. I'm telling you. Well, I told you. I told you with my fucking Uchi Katana, motherfucker. Yes, I know. Too much random swearing. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm Welsh. I swear a lot. It's what we do. And play rugby occasionally. Very poorly most of the time. Oh, that's a bit harsh. They're a good team. Just a bit silly at times. Okay, so we'll leave it there. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.